everyone and welcome to my new video! It's hot and sunny summer outside and I feel like making something funny and colorful and really joyful so let's forget for once the image of ideal modal beauty like we're always making here and let's make something really sweet and cute and maybe even childish and cartoonish I was first thinking about making some bunny girl or a kitten girl but there are honestly too many of them on the market it's not really original anymore so let's make something unusual but at the same time summer related so I was thinking about making a giraffe girl oh, why not? I have some ideas in my head so and all the sketches for the outfit are already redirected to my official mom assistant and I have here such a Draculaura doll, I think her sweet and cute round face will fit such in a little bit childish and cartoonish style of the repaint. So, let's start, let the transformation begin! So, first I will remove her dress and the accessories, then I cut her hair very short, and then I use my hair dryer to make the head soft to be able to remove it easily. Normally it takes just about 2 minutes to make the hat and the glue inside very soft. the tweezers I pull the rest of the hair out of the hat. And then I remove the makeup with pure acetone. Now I'm going to prepare her body as well and first I sand it with a nail buffer to remove the glossy top otherwise my blush will peel later easily off then I clean it with an acetone free nail polish remover and then I seal both the head and the body with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant it's a summery paint so I want to make her face a little bit more tan not just light pink so I cover the face and the body with a layer of light talc pastels. Then I take my pencils and I start sketching her eyes. And this time I want to give her more cartoonish look, not that adult and model looking, so I will draw bigger eyes this time.
With brown soft pastels and with a piece of an eraser, I sketched the eyebrows. Then I add shadows to her face with Caput Mortum pastels, and this time I will not go for some serious contouring. I don't want her to look too mature with lots of makeup, but I still need to add some main shadows and the color accents to make her skin more alive looking. Then I add a touch of red pastels to her face and also red eyeshadows to her eyelids. Let's do something I normally never do on my dolls. Let's add a touch of red pastels to her nose. 
many doll artists are doing it and I remember I even asked once another doll artist why she had always done it on her dolls. Because basically the nose can become red just if you're crying or if your nose is running. And the answer was because it looks cute. So I want her to look cute today, so let's try it. Anyway, it's a summer makeover, so no problem if it looks slightly sunburned. And I also add red pastels to her lips and to the beginning of the eyebrows. Why? Because it will look cute, of course. And then I do the same blushing on her body. Then I start drawing her eyes with my Faber Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils. I will give her green eyes this time because there will be lots of yellow, orange and green in her outfit. So I think green eyes will work good together with this. Then I take a very fine brush and I make all the colors brighter by making them wet. Then I add grey shadows to the white of her eyes, work more detailed on the waterline and I add accents to the irises. With the smallest amount of black pastels, I imitate the shadows from the upper lashes. After a layer of shadows, I draw the highlights and color accents.
Then I draw the bottom eyelashes and the black eyeliner. And then I make the black color even more black by making it wet with a fine brush. And then add the brightest highlights with white acrylic paint. And I also want to add lots of freckles to her face and body. For this I'm mixing together brown and orange acrylic paint, add some water and I spray the freckles on with a hard synthetic brush. And then with q-tips I clean some messy spots. And then I just need to make a wig for her, to put the head and the body back together, to attach the false lashes and to add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And now it's finally her gorgeous outfit made by my mom. 
This time we have such a happy sunny dress. Long socks with stripe like pippy long stocking style. Then it's an absolute masterpiece giraffe hat. Then she also has a big and colorful lollipop on a stick. And the cherry on top of this project is such a tiny tilde giraffe, also made by my mom. And to finish her outfit, I will customize a pair of skates for her. And here is our little giraffe lover, ready to spend her weekend in a zoo probably, where she will get a big and sweet lollipop like always. And how is your summer going, guys, by the way? Also full of fun and amusement or other work and duties? I'm really curious to know if there are more people full-time busy with their artistic projects this summer. Write it here in the comment below. I'm really curious to read how are you doing, guys? And also, don't forget to write me what you think about my new repaint. And of course, put your like if you think that me and my mom and this giraffe girl, all of us, have kind of deserved it this week. And of course, don't forget to check if you subscribe to my channel and if the notifications are on to watch my new doll repaint videos every week Friday. And that was my video for today, but we will see each other already very soon in my new videos. Love you guys. Bye.